You ready for me, Ben? I'm Zainab Harb with another real estate video. Today we're going to go through the home buying process from start to closing table. I want to get to know things like, is there a specific area or city you want to be in? Is there a specific school or school district you're interested in? Does the big backyard matter? Do you want to be near a job? All that plays a big role when we're looking at homes in the future. Getting you pre-approved is extremely important to happen early on in the process. Many people think they should start shopping for a home, find the perfect home, and then get in touch with the lender, but it's the opposite. The lender may need anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks to collect documents and get us pre-approved. Also, prior to speaking to a lender, an accurate budget is unknown. It's important to me to connect you with a lender that I trust and have previously worked with. The lender is the backbone of the deal and that's why I refer my business to someone like Nick Mathis from First Bank. It's crucial that the lender and realtor have a good relationship because so much work happens behind the scenes. We need to be able to reach each other at any time and be confident in each other's work. At this point, we're pre-qualified for the loan and have an accurate budget. I will enroll you in my email system that I will design specifically for you based on what you're looking for in a home, and it'll notify you every time homes come on the market. We start touring homes looking at pre-owned and new builds, but today we're going to focus on the pre-owned home process. On average, this process could take anywhere from a week to a couple of months, depending on market and inventory. The exciting part is when we find the one. I run comps to see what a fair offer would be, making sure my buyers are getting the best deal. I go over these numbers and other documents that my buyers should be expecting from me to electronically sign. I like to reach out to the listing agent to let them know that they should be expecting an offer from us in the next few hours. I submit our offer to the seller and we wait to either get accepted or a counter offer. This is a term you'll hear a lot in real estate, but you may not know exactly what it means. At this point, both parties have agreed on terms, price, and crucial dates such as closing, finance period, and option period, and both parties have signed. We have two parties that have come to an agreement, signed the contract, and are now moving forward with the real estate deal. We are under contract. As soon as we go under contract, we have deadlines on a few crucial tasks. Two that come to mind are option period and earnest money. Option period is a time frame anywhere from three to 10 days that provides security for the buyers. During option period, the buyer schedules an inspection on the property, negotiating price and or repairs if needed with the sellers. In case the two parties do not come to an agreement before option period is over, the buyer can back out of the contract without losing earnest money. Earnest money is a deposit made by the buyer to the seller to show good faith. Earnest money is negotiable, and the higher the amount, the more your offer will stand out to the seller. This money is credited towards your home purchase, and we have three days to deliver it to the title company after we go under contract. During this time, the buyers are getting ready to move in, the lender is working on our loan, and the title company is finalizing and verifying paperwork. This is the most rewarding part of my job. We're at the closing table and my buyers are signing paperwork to their new home. Welcome home. I really hope I was able to walk you through the home buying process smoothly. There's really nothing to be intimidated about because you're in good hands. I try to keep things as simple and as productive as possible. My team and I work endlessly for all your real estate needs.